dropped back, Pendleton, Camp Pendleton, California, and it was like, what happened? They made a wrong turn. Because, you know, you hear all the chatter about the people out there, man, that were spitting on the, on the uh, Marines and on, on all the troops, all the veterans. Back. We're on the wrong planet. Maybe they made a mistake. I mean, that's what ran through my head. And I was like, ah. So they get home, they said, hey, don't go home in uniform. I was like, come on. They said, hey, don't go home. Guys were throwing the uniforms off, coming in civilian clothes. And I remember I got in, I got home in New York and got a cab. And I said, I was going to surprise my mother to get in early. And I went. And I said, uh, wow, place sure has changed. I said, you know, been in Vietnam. And the guy says, and so? Oh, I'm the cab driver. I was like, okay. So I get back and I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and get, get me a job and stuff. And I remember I was in there and told my mother, I said, well, I'm hanging out here for a little while and then I'll probably get my own place. And I, said, I was still trying to find out what was going on, why people were so strange acting. And, I'm, and um, I went down to, to the firehouse, and I said, you know, maybe I'll go and be a fireman. You know, I said, I'm going to join. And uh, Lieutenant Romano, real nice guy, lived there. And he says, we've got a problem. I said, what's the matter? They don't want you in the fire department. Who? Well, I said, I was born and raised in New York. They probably transplants in here. And they didn't. And he stood up for me. And I said, you know, I don't want to see you get hurt. Because, you know, these people are devious. They could set, set us up on these fire deals. Hey, I got a chance. I got a shot. I can take them out, and then we can start a brand-new fire department. But, and I got an answer to me, and I said, look, I'm going to go and step out of here, because obviously it's not for me. So, uh, And I hung out in, in, in the city for a little while, and I was like, Man, I can't believe we come back here to this United States of America and they're treating us like we're aliens, man, like we don't belong here. And I was at the Vietnam War, this replica, Tampa, Florida. And I met a guy named Woodsy, 25th Infantry Division, U.S. Army type, both legs blown off. You know, we thought talking. And I said, man, this is messed up, man. We came back and can't even get a job. This is ridiculous, you know. Another guy was there. His brother got killed in country, Green Beret. And uh, so we were talking and going to the wall and, Looking at the guys' names and all this stuff, he told me about the guys that got killed and stuff. I said, hey, you're the guy's lucky day today. You got a Marine up here. I said, come on, let's suck it up. Let's go. We got to go and watch. And he says, this guy's watching us. I said, who? I said, I ain't did nothing. You guys must, that must be the feds. <laughs> I go over to him. I said, uh, excuse me. He says, hey, welcome home. I said, yeah, you too. What the heck you doing eyeballing us? And he said, um, I was just admiring, you know, your demeanor and da, da, da. Right. I said, what, were you, what branch service are you in? He said, U.S. Army. I said, oh, okay. What was your MOS? CID. I said, see, I knew it. I knew you were a fed. He says, no, I'm not. And he says, I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. We work with spinal cord injuries and all this and quads. And he says, uh, you working? I said, nope. He said, look, here's my card. Why don't you come by and see me? He says, all the guys in there, all Vietnam veterans. He said, you can come by there and check us out. So, Steve Anderson, that was his name. And I went up there, and Steve Anderson hired me that Monday and got into the veterans business. So he kind of got my niche and got me kind of stared in the right direction. And, of course, we still talk, you know, about a couple months. Ago. But he really put me on the path to giving back to the veterans, fighting the VA system, which I enjoy doing. So 